Okay, so we are on to, I believe, um, somewhere in the 20s for transmissions, but certainly the first transmission for Group 2 of Soul Spirit Elite. Welcome. Um, today I have felt compelled to do just a voice recording with um, some information that has been personally um, coming through for my own life, but also um, for us as a collective. And that is about procrastination. So, well, procrastination and prioritization. So basically I've had a lot, a lot of things that are just like pending to do's, things that I really want to get done that, um, would really enhance my quality of living, but they're things that I don't have to get done for work, to survive, etc. So even though they would personally make me feel better um, daily, I am not doing it because I'm like, well, you know, nobody is holding me accountable for this but myself, and I have other things to do if I'm going to be focusing on something. So when I'm ready to, you know, dig in to get some work done, I go in work mode for my career or with the housework, etc. Uh, however, that is a form of self-sabotage. That is a form of uh, self-neglect because these things would feed my soul and I'm basically starving off my soul for things that I know need to be done in this like 3D you know, construct that we have going on right now. So, I have been taking a little more time to prioritize from my heart instead of from my mind. I'm prioritizing things that are feeding my soul, that are improving my own home environment, Um, you know, apart from getting the cleaning done or the, the dishes. I'm talking about, like, I just painted a kitchen wall that I've been meaning to do. I have been doing more organization and decluttering. I have a bunch of uh, shelving that I'm about to put up that needs to get done. Things that really could be, you know, in pending mode forevermore and nobody would get in trouble or be hurt for it. But really, because I'm not doing it, it is something that just hangs over the head that I feel that stresses me out to a degree, that's cluttering my space to a degree, um, that definitely would be transformed into, you know, happiness, feel-good hormones, a nicer environment if I just got it done. Uh, So the blocks that I have, I've been wondering, you know, what did it, why am I letting this just sit here stagnant um, when I know it would make me happy to even do it and to have it done, and it is, it's that mindfulness, that that over logic, overthinking, as opposed to just coming from a more playful, um, fun, exhilarating sense of self, where, you know, it's fun to do a project or a craft. I even have a vision board sitting here that I have only, you know, halfway done that would be so wonderful and fun to finish and have up and I can actually start calling in all of these goals and visions that I have for myself. But instead, it's sitting there and what did I do yesterday? I took a nap. I reorganized some things in another room, but I have all of this stuff still out for my vision board project that's making a mess and my visions aren't getting done. So it's heaviness, it's, it's, it's stagnation. So I want to invite you all to see where you're doing that same thing for yourself. What are things that, you know, you keep on wanting it to get done, you keep on meaning to get done, you can even say, oh, yeah, I'm going to go do that today. But then you're like, oh, but there's this, that and the other priority that I have to get done for, you know, my grown up reasons for my adulting life or whatever justifications or logic you have rationalizations behind it. Um, are you really just blocking yourself? Are you really just allowing heavy stagnation around you, clutter, um, self-deprecation almost, because you're 
over-rationalizing these things away, these joyful things that you can be doing for yourself that really would, would pay off. So where is that happening in your life right now? And what can you do about it? Well, you can kick yourself in the butt and say, listen, no, I know I have to get through these emails, but I'm going to take the next hour to do what feeds my soul. And then I'm going to feel even better and energized when I go and and get through those emails. Um, You can choose a day of the week, a certain amount of time, just a block every week where that is where you get those honey-do lists done. That is where you get the fun soul growth things done um, and schedule it like you would an obligation or a priority. We need to start prioritizing these things that are feeding our souls, that are helping us grow, even if it's not a tangible thing, even if you're not getting a paycheck from it, even if it's just a simple, you know, hanging of a new... um, Uh, hook for your keys when you come inside so you have a better flow as soon as you get into the house. Uh, What kinds of things like that are you really not giving yourself right now? What kind of gifts for the soul, for your inner child, uh, can you be really making more time to do so you do have more vitality, so you are glowing from the inside in a way that is beyond, you know, accomplishing the things we need to in this rat race of survival that we find ourselves in so often how can we make living our regular lives more of a luxury than a survival pattern uh really chew on that really brainstorm and if you come up with a reflection, a really good plan. I would love for you to share it in the forum for everybody else to be inspired by and to hold you accountable for. Uh, This is my sense of needing to now be held accountable. I'm going to get my vision board done this week and I'm going to hang up some um, shelving for a bunch of books that I have just hanging out in boxes. That should really be up so I can use them for reference and and enjoy them. And so this damn pile of bookshelves uh, in my bedroom uh, can be off the floor and that can be cleared for a much more energetic flow as well. That's it. It's a quick transmission, but it is a, a challenging one for sure. And one that will require a lot of Um, retraining of the brain and habits to really incorporate into your life but imagine what if you actually do what if you actually can um, be doing more of those types of flows instead of procrastinating instead of holding off on things that really would make a tangible difference in your heart and soul as opposed to in your workplace or your wallet Sending lots of love and light and I will see you all very soon. Ciao.